Hello, this is Andrew from Left Code, and today we're going to be installing and setting up our project for the Tour of Heroes Blazor app. Um, here I'm showing you um, the link that I'm going to have in the description below that shows um, what you need for ASP.NET Core um, updates. Um, this is with .NET Preview 6. I'm sure Preview 7 is already out by the time I'm recording this. Um, I know they're going to work with the tutorial. Um, I'm sure you can use newer or the released version if it's November, but um, this is what I'm using for the project. And basically, you can skip this video if you want to go through these steps on your own. Otherwise, we're just going to install the .NET SDK and the Visual Studio Preview Edition that's required. And then we're just going to be running .NET new Blazor Wasm. So if you just want to skip the video, go ahead. I'll see you in the next one. Otherwise, you can follow along and we will run through these together. I'm just going to start out with uh, running the .NET SDK. I downloaded it right before this. So... Video Community Preview Edition. I'm just going to install this bundle. Um, we're really not going to use it for the entire video, but uh, I just want to have this for one of the last videos I'm going to do where I can do some unit test stuff. So I'm just going to click install here and uh, wait for this to finish. Um, so once this is once this is done installing, I'm just going to click continue here, and I'll catch up with you guys um, once that's done. Visual Studio just completed, so. So this should all be installed. Um, I think we should have everything now um, installed so that we can get going. I'm just gonna close this here. I'm gonna definitely ignore this. Make sure I put on dark mode. We've installed Visual Studio. We've installed the .NET SDK. Hopefully you've got both of those installed now. So now we're just gonna run this template here um, to make sure we get the .NET new Blazor Wasm. Uh, I'm going to run in this folder here, put my source in here, so I'm just going to open up a new PowerShell window. Here I'm just going to run the .NET new Blazor Wasm command. Should go fairly quickly. And then I'm going to run uh, code period to open Visual Studio Code at this location. Okay, first component that we're really gonna care about here is program CS. This is where we're gonna do our dependency injection. And this is where it tells us what app or what component we're gonna start with. So in the index, this is where you're gonna um, basically load app at. In our shared, we've got our main layout for our nav component, and this is where any shared things that would be on all our screens will go. The nav menu here, which will we'll probably use quite a bit later. And then we got the survey prompt that we're just gonna kill. Um, we don't want that or need it. In our index, we'll just leave this here as a comment. So if I hit uh, control back sl or slash, um, that'll comment that out. I've got fetch data, I've got a counter. So this is the cool thing about that client side Blazor. If you, you can do the bindings, this is the same on Blazor for server too. So if you do the at current count, you can get to your C sharp code. Um, it just needs to be in this at code block while everything else is just kind of on the page. This is your routing right here with anything that's at slash counter would route to here. And then you have your functions that you can call. So on, on click, this button will call the increment count. It looks a little bit different when you are um, sending parameters in, but we'll get to that later too. And here we have fetch data. So they're doing an if else. They're able to do for each grab properties off this and even do some formatting in there and then here it shows how they can have a property and when this component's created it'll go to a service here it's just a local json that it's reading from but the, it can actually go to a you know any kind of web service and call an async call and get that data back and then so you can have the asynchronous loading going on there so that's really that's really all that's in this project uh, but that will give us the good base to start with our tour of heroes if you look up above there should be a link there to the next video uh, go ahead and check the description if you want links for any of the stuff that i talked about in this video thank you